think, you know, the fact that we celebrate diversity, you know, if you go into a classroom, I, I've often said it's like a little United Nations, you know, people from all over the world. Uh, you don't see religious and racial strife that you see in so many countries. There's, there's still elements of, of negativity in, in our society because that's, that's human nature. But the vast majority of, of Canadians, I think, are open-minded, tolerant, uh, welcoming to new Canadians, to different ideas, to uh, you know, equal marriage, uh, things that a lot of other countries are really far behind. Uh, and they're thinking, I think we're a very progressive nation. Well, being Canadian means that you have a lot of rights, that you're able to speak your mind without any fear, that you're able to uh, reach and, st and work with your political politicians that you reach at all levels, so that your, your, your position can be put forward. It may or may not be accepted, but you have the right to do that. Well. I am not yet Canadian. I moved from the United States. I'm a permanent resident. And so I have a perspective on the difference between American and Canadian. And I've also lived around the world in Spain, in Australia, in Japan. Canada is unique because it is a place where there is virtually no barrier to starting a business, to getting a job, the, the right kind of job that you want. Sure, it's important to know the right people and to have the right skills, but anybody can start a business, and you can start a business in a day. Other countries, you got to bribe people, you got to wait months, and you got to spend lots of money. Anybody can start a business in Canada. So to me, what is it to be Canadian? It's to be able to realize your potential and opportunities. To me, I think it, it means to be free. Um, to be free to, to say whatever you want to say um, and, and also to, uh, to live the way you want to live. And I think that's important. And, and when you go around the world and people say, what does a Canadian look like here? Uh, I don't know, what does a Canadian look like? We look like very many places and I'm very proud of that. Excellent question and uh, to me it's the freedom to be whoever we want to be. I think that, you know, I do a lot of work on the anti-bully initiatives. And I think in Canada, we're very fortunate that we can be whoever we want to be. We can wear whatever color shirt we want to wear. And, uh, and most other Canadians accept that you, accept you for your difference. So, like, if you're Canadian, you're kind of like, like, I'd be, like, English and, like, Trinidadian and French and stuff. But it's like I'm also, like, Canadian. That represents, like, everybody in the world because, like, there's basically someone from almost every part of the world, I'm assuming, like in Canada. Um, and it's like Canada really celebrates like multiculturality, multiculturalness, I don't know what the word. Um, so it's a really cool thing because it's not like everyone's like, we're Canadian, we're only Canadian, like this is Canadian culture, this is Canada. It's like we celebrate all sorts of cultures, like we have like all sorts of like Greek fests, Lebanese fests, and all these different, and like, yeah, so it's just accepting everybody. Pride. Uh, for me, that's exactly what this is. Uh, I'm proud to be a Canadian, uh, especially coming from another land to this country. Uh, I was about eight years of age when I came to Ottawa, and I've grown up most of my life in this city. Uh, what I really like about Besides, you know, people say it's opportunity or land of opportunity. Yes, that is true. But for me, it's uh, the pride, how proud I am. Because I wasn't born in this country. I was born in a refugee camp, and uh, I grew up uh, the first years of my life and, and went to school in Germany for a while. And, uh, and so I probably have a somewhat different perspective in the sense of being able to compare coming from another country, another society, and... Uh, coming here not having the language and not knowing your way around and um, but I think a lot of times if you're not from if you weren't born in this country you actually have a greater sense of uh, national pride than many people who are here because you don't take things for granted you recognize the benefits we have here the advantages and what a great country this is for us uh, it means to be part of a part of a puzzle if you will part of a much bigger picture um, you know, you really see that, or I've really seen that over the last four years as, as a ward councillor. The more you get involved in your community, the more you see. You know, the more layers you see. Uh, the different community groups, 
the different, different ethnic backgrounds of people, the different interests of people. And uh, so I think what it, what it really means to be a Canadian is, is to be very multi-leveled and multi-layered. To be Canadian can mean anything. Right, we're not uh, we're not that melting pot type American scenario where you know you must kind of abandon who you are to become American. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, and and Americans are fabulous people with lots of great qualities about them. But uh, the Canadians, you know, we're not dictating who you should be. And because we don't do that, everybody gets to claim an equal share of being a Canadian. where the individual is more important but the rest to us the individual is important but the community is equally important as, as the collective so that we have policies that will protect people instead of always being for us personally. Well the, that uh, ability that we can be whoever we want to be you know and, and uh, have the freedom to do that but there's no uh, restrictions on what we say or do uh, as long as we respect each other. I think uh, the Canadian lifestyle and the values of Canada make it a special place. Uh, it's a democracy and people say, well, what does that mean? To me, that means that I can stand up and uh, speak freely. Well, I do think it's a very open society. I think it's a very, uh, you know, very receptive to outsiders. I think it's very, uh, very open to uh, accepting outsiders and helping outsiders. I, don't I think our ability to get along, um, you know, uh, we, uh, you know, it is an extremely large country, obviously, but also an extremely diverse country. And we have people from every walk of life, probably every other country in the world, living in Canada and we just you know we seem to have a real ability to to get along to embrace the difference as opposed to finding that as a as a flashpoint or, or something to, to fight about we find a way to in, incorporate that um, yes they were all different because like in I don't know in Sweden like someone their family has been Swedish for their entire life um, so in Canada it's like there's no one who's only Canadian there's everyone else. Everyone is something else too. So you won't just go and find someone who's just one thing unless they just moved to Canada from Sweden. And even if they're Canadian and Swedish, so you're always more than one background and more than one thing. And so that makes a lot of people have like a lot of different stories and a lot of different experiences and like cultural things and traditions that they do. So it makes Canada really interesting. Well, we have a policy on diversity, and we, we work very hard to try to make sure that we're a very inclusive um, community and inclusive city, and uh, we've won awards in terms of being a uh, diverse employer, and we, you know, we hire a lot of people, and we want to make sure that we get the best people and they're reflective of, of the city that we live in. Uh, we have a committee that deals with diversity issues as well, and we have an internal staff group. And uh, you know what we try to do is, is you know practice what we preach and make sure that we're uh, you know a beacon for for other organizations. I think diversity comes in many ways. It's not just diversity because of immigration that takes place from outside of the country, but immigration within the country. For example, I mean, uh, you look at the city of Ottawa, beautiful city, well established, uh, well. Secure financial economic base. So you get people coming from other parts of the country to come and join this workforce. They are. Uh, my hope is that we continue to be a beacon of light and uh, a beacon of hope for people around the world. They look at, at Canada and Ottawa and our residents as individuals who are, are great at uh, making peace and bringing people together and trying to reduce conflict in the world, uh, that we continue uh, our progressive policies as an environmentalist society, that we protect the air we breathe and the water we, we drink. Uh, I would like to see that we're able to be leaders in the world and making sure that we protect our environment, that the businesses and things we do don't cause long-term harm and that we use our own 
abilities to help other countries to achieve that as well. There are two things that set Canada apart. One is an internationally fantastic reputation. Go anywhere in the world and say you're from Canada, you have a hug and a smile. There is no controversy, there is no negativity. I foresee that being a major asset. As the world becomes a very smaller place, it's going to be valuable to be a Canadian and valuable to be a Canadian company. The second thing is, Canada is rich in natural resources. Water, wood, minerals, it's a huge, huge mass of a, com of a, of a country. And depending on how things go geopolitically, that is never a bad thing. So it might be a really, really good thing, or it might be just a pretty good thing. So I think the future of Canada in, on the, the geopolitical level and on the geobusiness level is very bright. Yeah. So I think we're still, in 50 years time, we will still have lots of green space around us, lots of trees, um, which will set us apart from many other countries. Uh, we, we have a, an abundance of beautiful natural areas that, uh, and often a lot of it's protected as national parks or provincial parks so to be there and that's one of the characteristics I like of the country. I think uh, as far as the people go 50 years from now I think we'll see the continuation of the, the mosaic of Canada, how uh, people can come from everywhere and be a Canadian. I guess we'll just get even more cultures um, and even more people like being Canadian for like being like second, third generation Canadian um, and maybe get uh, more people and like I don't know I feel like everybody lives in the border of the states. This is a big mixing pot that we have you know I look at uh, um, even I mean even in terms of our ethnic mixing that's happening you know it's it's a huge different society that's evolving than it was 30 40 years ago i'm sure over the 50 years we're going to see more people living in the city we're going to see more people living in the country and we're going to see more people from all over the world but i i hope that they continue to come because they see this as a place that's that's welcoming and accepting and uh, will as i say embrace the difference For me, I have always thought being a Canadian is about not just respecting you know, all other cultures, but actually appreciating and enjoying them. Um, it doesn't mean you appreciate and enjoy everything from every culture, but that, that there is a you know this diversity, uh, and that we are richer uh, as a, as part of it. Um, I am also critical uh, of. You know, not being too sanctimonious as Canadians, that we're the greatest place to live. I hear that too much, and, and, and uh, I like to remind people uh, when I have to that uh, there's a whole lot of work we still have to do as uh, as well. Uh, so you know, not to be unpatriotic. In fact, I think I think the, the most patriotic you can be uh, is to keep improving and to not get smug and to point out that you know, oh, we think we're so much better than these other places, or we think this can't happen here. We think. We think uh, corruption can't happen in Canada. We think you don't have um, you know, racism in Canada. We think this, well, sorry to break it to you, but it may not be as bad, but it's still something we need to, uh, to work on.